Hi guys, welcome back to Secrets of Tennis. My name is Karina Ward and today we're going to be doing lesson number two with the red ball team that we started last week. Here we go. The goal of this lesson is to have every drill really fun and keep the kids involved and attentive. It's important at this age that they fall in love with the sport and that they don't just go through the motions. So instead of just hitting forehands or backhands or serves, we always have some kind of game or goal. Drill number one, the kids are warming up and running two laps around the court. As soon as they finish running the two laps, we're gonna start with the ladder drill, continuing to work on our footwork. I demonstrate the ladder drill exercise and the kids copy me to work on their footwork. Drill number two, we give the kids back their rackets and tennis ball. And we play a fun game called red light, green light. So here we're working on balancing the ball and keeping the ball from falling down. And the kids all start at the net and move to the fence. When I say red light, the kids freeze. If I say yellow light, they move forward in slow motion. And if I say green light, they can move as fast as they can. Again, if they drop their ball, they start at the beginning. Let's see who wins. Once again, we're working on our coordination with the racket and we're doing bounce ups and bounce downs. Here, the kids are competing with themselves and they see if they can beat their score from last week. So for example, if they got eight in a row bounce downs last week, the goal is for them to get nine or 10 or more. Number four, we're doing our volleys. Once again though, to keep the kids entertained, we do a fun game called Jello. So I warm the kids up with a few volleys and then I get started. Everything will be fine. 
They're lined up across the net and I tell a story, something all the kids love to hear. I make it fun and whenever I say the word jello in the story, they drop their rackets and they run and touch the double sideline and run back. The first person to make it back to the net wins. So here we go, be creative. Notice that even when we are picking up balls, we still set challenges and make it really fun for the kids. So we can do a game where we have the kids line up their racket and then they put balls only on their racket and then I count at the end who has more balls once all the balls are, are up. The kids love this game. Another thing you can do is count down. So for example, say you have 10 seconds to pick up the balls or 20 seconds to pick up the balls and the kids are trying to hurry, working together as a team and of course getting the balls up as fast as possible. Drill number five. We're continuing with volleys, but now we're gonna also add some coordination. So the kids are going to be the ones who are partnered up with each other, tossing the ball, volleying it back, and trying to catch. I participate in this game, and we'll see what team gets to 10 first. Then we switch it up. Give it a try. Drill number six, we're continuing to work on forehands. However, last week we did it completely stationary and I fed the ball in place. This week we're doing it moving and progressing for the kids to hit the ball while moving all the way across the court. So they're hitting it from every shot. Now, to make it fun and set a goal, I place cones on the other side of the net and we're playing a game called Fireball. So the goal is for the kids to hit the cone and if they do, I yell out Fireball! They drop their racket and run all the way around while I toss balls at them. If I hit them, I win. If I don't, they win. So here we go, working on some forehands.
number seven, backhands. So this is the first day that we are introducing how to hit a backhand to the kids. It's a very similar concept, but now we're using two hands and the ball is coming on the left side of us, because they're all right-handed, and we hit the ball low to high with the finish across the body. Right away, we start to do it from one side of the court to the other. So take a look as they hit backhands going all the way across the court and keep your eyes out for fireball. we're introducing a new game called lobster. So here the kids are gonna have two rackets instead of one, and when I feed the ball to them, they trap it with their rackets, turn and do a forehand, and then trap it with their rackets, turn and do a backhand. So this is a great way for the kids to hit forehand and backhands and develop uh, strength with their left arm. that the kids continue to work on their serves and know why, how, and where to hit the ball. So I explained to them where in and where out is because we are gearing up for our tournament in a couple of weeks. So the kids need to know how to hit the ball across and to the correct cervix box when serving. Today, we also introduced the ad side of the court.
fun. We have a new game called Caterpillar. So here the kids line up in a line and I roll the ball to them. The goal for them is to make sure the ball rolls right in between their legs and they don't get hit. If the ball touches them or if the ball doesn't go in between their legs, then they go to the back of the line. The goal here is to get to the front of the line and stay there as long as possible. Lesson number two, keep your eyes out because we still have lesson three, lesson four, and our tournament coming up with the red balls. Again, if you're coaching, keep it entertaining, keep it light, and keep the kids involved, even if you're doing a simple exercise like balling or picking up balls. Thank you guys again. My name is Karina Ward, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Game, set the net.